Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to this week's plan with me video. This week we are planning out the week of November 8th through November 14th. Um, not a super happy week for me, it did start off quite negatively or quite poorly, um, which I'll obviously get into a little bit when we touch on the day to day plans. But I am using this beautifully bright, fun coloured kit from Scribble Prince Co. It is one of my mystery kits. I don't know which one it is, but obviously it is in the title. So if you are curious, of course, you can find out up there. Um, and I am using the foil bundle or the wiggle format, however you want to call it. Um, that came with the kit which I will take you through now and it is a beautiful hollow foil twinkle uh, and I just think it works perfectly with the kit because obviously the kit is super bright and almost I guess rainbow in color and obviously a holographic foil gives off rainbow vibes as well so I think that's really really pretty. I don't know what it is because I feel like if this kit was in store or I was looking for a kit to buy and you know I was browsing through a shop I don't know that I would like buy this kit I don't know if I'd be drawn to it the colors are stunning and it is a beautiful kit and I'm so glad that I have it and I'm so glad that I used it but it was interesting because when I first got it I was kind of like when am I ever going to use this because obviously you have those sort of um I don't know, eras or periods of time or anything like that, but you've got these beautiful women who are dressed in like really old style clothing. Is it like 1920s, 1940s? I have no idea. If you actually know, let me know in the comments below, but you know what I mean. It, they're like the, the attire, you know, the, there's a little pug in this kit and he's wearing, you know, one of those big lacy full collars um, that was quite fashionable at the time. So looking at it I was just like when am I ever going to use this kit and the colors to me just jumped out and screamed spring because obviously you know there's these greens there's the garden vibe it's kind of in a way Mad Hatter's tea party um and I think it's absolutely beautiful um but yes <laughs> I did lose a little bit of footage there as you would have just seen. So obviously I was planning out that beginning part and then I think my storage on my phone was full or something. So my phone popped up an alert and I didn't notice the alert. And so obviously I missed putting down all the bougie boxes, putting down all of my full boxes, but you obviously will see the positioning of them as we go through the spread. To give you an idea as to why I use this kit and why I chose that little pug as my quote box even though it's not a quote um like I said this week was kind of a not so great week for me so we actually lost our family dog um of 10 years on the Monday she was a pug um and she was actually the same color as that little pug there in the left hand corner and I didn't have any type of memorial kit or I didn't have any floral kits left because I've you know I've been digging into my stash and trying to use up everything that I had and when I saw the pug and obviously the fact that you know we were in spring at this time and this kit screamed spring to me I just figured that that would be the closest if not the best possible spread that I could use for that because it's kind of party vibes as well so I guess in one way, my mind kind of looks at it as, you know, there's a pug there, it's this party, it's this celebration type kit. So it's almost like a, a nod to her, a celebration of her 10 years and my kind of way to say farewell in a bright, happy way as opposed to a sad way. Um, but yeah, it was a fun couple of weeks from October through November. It was just, it was a great time. Um, but yeah, that was really rough. Um, at the time, it was just, it, it hit really hard. And it's funny because it's not funny, figure of speech, but this particular dog lived at my dad's house with my dad and my brothers. So she was my dog in terms of the fact that she was a family dog. And, you know, I'd spent some time living with her and whatnot as well. But it's funny how you get so used to and so comfortable having your pets around that when you lose them, it's it's like losing a part of you and you just, you don't know what to do. Like 
that when I got that call, it was kind of like a smack in the face. And I was just like, I don't know what to do. What, what, what's the next step? How do we navigate it? How do we deal with this? And then obviously, you know, the days that followed. So yeah, um, that is my reasoning behind the use of the kit. So top left hand corner, I didn't have a page flag. I didn't actually know where my planner phase page flags were. So I didn't put anything down. I still haven't. There's still a bunch of things I have to fix up in this planner before I can even show it to you guys, but we will get there. Um, and then as per usual in the sidebar, I also track my social media with my sticker thief bunny and Instagram icon. And then because I had the option of a tall box for this spread, I did use the tall box to fill in the rest of the space of the sidebar. Probably my ideal sidebar right there. Let's go ahead and jump on into the plans because obviously, I'll, you know, there's a few little things that I'll go through in the day by day. So on Monday, first thing that I marked was, of course, Coffee Monday. And I did mark that in just with my handwriting this week and a coffee cup from Sticker Thief. I then, of course, mark work. So this particular week, I've used the work labels from the kit, which I will do sometimes if I've got enough plans to like fill out the spread. Uh, so I've marked that in. And then after work, I did do a, a voiceover and some editing, or rather I started a voiceover. I literally remember this. I'd sat down, I'd edited my video. I was midway through or I just started my voiceover. And that's when I got the phone call to say that the dog had passed away. So I started my voiceover. I didn't actually finish it. I think it took me a week to actually finish the voiceover. Um, but that's what I did that evening. And I've marked that with the Coffee Monsters Co. edit emoji. And then you will see that I marked in the purple box there when I eventually moved the spread up. You will see that that's where I marked um, that the dog passed away. And I kind of just did a little tribute to her. So I bought a little sticker thief fawn pug sheet and I marked in rest in peace Bella the bestest girl and then I used some of the hollow foil hearts that came with the kit to just sort of I guess jazz it up and make it a little bit more special and then I did spend the evening at my dad's house so I've marked that in with an icon from oh, a deco piece from the kit and a dad's house script from planet beautiful who is of course no longer open um and basically while we were at dad's house we then organized to go to the vet we took the dog to the vet. When we got to the vet, the vet was less than sympathetic. There was absolutely no sympathy, no empathy. Um, it was in the middle of COVID. It was locked down. We were wearing face masks. It was me and my brother and my husband. I was an emotional wreck. I had the dog with me in a basket covered in a towel. Um, I don't know what it was, but when we pulled up, we pulled up by a rose bush and they were these big, beautiful red roses. So I stole one from the vet's garden and I put it in with the dog I don't know I just made me feel better in a way and when the lady from the vets actually came out she was like um I think the first thing she said was like what's wrong with it it um and then she was like is it yours and we're like well yes obviously um and then she was like oh okay and she's like I'll go I'll go inside I'll be back in a minute and she came out I think 15 minutes later with a brochure of pricing, handed it to us and went back inside to let us decide, I assume, no words spoken. Um, we asked if we could bring the dog inside because my brother wanted to take a photo just, I guess, to memorialize her in a way. So she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we bring the dog inside and I followed my brother in. And literally the second I stepped in the door, the lady was like, step back. So I wasn't allowed into the reception area. We literally like just stepped in the door to the right. And she was like, no, I wasn't allowed to come in. Um, and then when we, after she gave us the brochure and whatnot, when she finally came back out, she was just like, that'll be $360 through the FPOS machine out of us, basically took the money and was like, all the best and left. So that was great. Um, anyway, um, jumping on a Tuesday, I did mark work this particular day. It was really, really hitting me that we'd lost the dog and I just couldn't focus. I was sad. I was miserable. I was slow. Um, and I just marked that in with a once more with love crying character sticker. And then as a continuation on from that, I used a Coffee Monsters Co. emoji to mark that I couldn't focus at work. I did do a catch of the day order on this day. So I've used a little icon from the wiggle. I played some Animal Crossing. So I've marked that in with a little leaf sticker from Stella Bow Sticker Co. And then the last thing that I did on Tuesday was wash my hair. And I've marked that with a sticker thief character sticker. 
On Wednesday, I've marked work and the fact that it was payday. So I've marked payday in with a whimsical cat studio character and a payday script from The Wiggle. And then I did get an order for my business this day and I wanted to mark that in. So I've just marked that with a little icon from The Wiggle. That evening, I did launch my Christmas collection for my business. So I've marked that in with a Debbie Downer like dressed as Frosty sticker. I had a cup of coffee after I did my launch and I just sort of sat there and chilled out for the rest of the evening um, until it was time to play some Dead by Daylight with my friends and the coffee icon is a piece of deco from the kit and then the laptop is of course from the Wiggle as well. On to Thursday I've marked work. That evening I did take my dog on a walk with me and that little shoe there is from Stella Bo Sticker Co. I did have to give the dog a bath when we came home because it was, it hadn't been raining, but it had rained like the day before. So he's an all white dog pretty much for the most part. And when we got back, I didn't realize it was that wet or that dirty outside, but he like his underbelly was covered in mud and wet and just gross. So I had to give him a bath. So I put that in, but I didn't put a sticker there because I have no idea where my custom buddy or my custom dog um, character sticker is. I then marked that I had some coffee after I showered him and we just chilled out on the couch while he dried. Um, and the little teapot is from the kit. And then I watched some YouTube. I've marked that with an icon from the Wiggle. And then I did play some more Animal Crossing and I've marked that in with a little apple tree from Marshmallow Studio. Friday, I am marking down work. And then underneath that, again, I basically got off work and played Animal Crossing. I was very into Animal Crossing at this point. I think it was a nice distraction from the earlier events of the week. Um, and I was really enjoying it. And I've just marked that in with a like balloon sticker from the game, but it was made by Stella Bo. I also did some laundry this day. So I've used an icon and a script from the Wiggle Bundle. I also did some cleaning, again, marking that with an icon and script from the Wiggle. And then we did watch a movie that evening. And again, I did wash my hair. The television is from Stella Bo and the hair wash girl is from Sticker Thief. I don't know what movie it was. Otherwise, I would have written it in. But as you can tell, a bit of a crazy week. Um, so I've just marked in that we watched a movie. Saturday, I did have a McDonald's coffee for breakfast. I've marked that with an icon from the Wiggle. I then used another icon from the Wiggle to mark that I had a hair appointment at 11 a.m. So I got a haircut and color, just the usual stuff. And I also had my waxing and nail appointment this day. And that nail bottle or icon is from Stella Bo Sticker Co. I did go to Priceline whilst I was at the shop. So I've marked that in with a little shopping bag icon from the Wiggle. And we did have Thai this evening. So I've marked that with another little Wiggle icon. And then lastly on Saturday, I've done... Wow. I've marked in that we had a movie night. Again, I don't recall what we watched, but I've used a little Coffee Monsters Co. emoji to mark that. And then on to Sunday, I did sleep in. I've marked that with a face mask from The Wiggle. It was a lazy morning. We literally didn't do much at all. So I've just used a deco piece from the kit to mark that. And then I did do some laundry uh, and I've just marked that with another icon from The Wiggle. That evening, we did decide to brave the movie cinemas and we did go and watch the new Halloween or Halloween Kills. So I've used the marquee from the kit to mark that and then I've chucked in a little sticker thief knife because I figured that it was appropriate. Probably not appropriate for this spread, but I thought it was cute. I thought it was a fun way to mark it, so I did. We had McDonald's for dinner because the movie finished at a really awkward time, so nothing else was really open. So we just drove through McDonald's and had that for dinner. And then we headed home and we just chilled out together on the couch before we went to bed. And again, I've just marked that with an icon from the kit. And now that I just have a little bit of free time, because I've sort of told you the rest of what happened during the week, basically when we were at the vets, when we did drop off and pay and do all of that stuff that you have to do, she said to us it was probably going to be about two weeks before we heard back from them because um, my dad and my brothers did opt to have the dog cremated so that they could get the little urn back. Um, and she was like, oh, it'll be about two weeks. And I think I, I obviously didn't mark it, but I think it was two, literally two days later or maybe three days later, two days, I think, um, they called me and said that she was ready to be collected. And so I took my youngest brother with me and we drove to the vet and the same lady came and delivered her ashes to us. And again, totally like no empathy, no sympathy. She came out, she gave me a little 
like paper bag that the urn was in. Meanwhile, it was raining. I wasn't allowed inside again. So I was standing in the rain. I was drenched. And then she hands me this bag with our dog's ashes in them. So like for one, you went there and you handed them like your pet, some something that you loved and cherished with all of your heart. And then they're already handing you back just a paper bag. And I know that's not their fault, but that part is hard enough. And then, you know, again, she like handed me the bag and then she was like all the best and walked away again. And I was just like, in three days, I've seen you twice. I was bawling my eyes out the first time I saw you. You had no empathy, no sympathy. You work in a job that requires like customer service skills. Like at the very minimum, you have to pretend like you care about your customers. Like you can't be in a customer facing or customer service role if you don't like people or you don't know how to interact with people. And I just, I don't know. I was, I was so, so mad. I was just, I, I couldn't believe it. And I basically, I took, you know, I took the ashes, put them in the car, jumped in the car and we went. And I think then we went to like the service station and I got like, I don't know, I was going to get an iced coffee, but then I decided to take my brother to McDonald's. And I think I treated myself to a coffee frappe. Um, but yeah, it was just a mess of a week. <laughs> so I'm glad it's over. I mean, I'm sad that it's over because it meant letting go of the dog, but I'm glad it's over at the same time because it was just horrific. Anyway, you guys, um, that is everything that I have for you. Despite the events of the week, I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope you like the spread as much as I do. Um, I will leave it here. I'm obviously going to give you guys a bit of a wiggle in just a second and then as per usual, I will sign myself off. Um, but if you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing. I do have a goal to try and get to 500 subscribers by the end of this year, and we aren't too, too far off. Um, so a like, a comment, a subscription would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> but if not, that is totally fine too. I appreciate you watching the video nonetheless. Anyways, I'm going to be quiet now. I am going to go enjoy this little wiggle that I'm giving you, and I will see you all very, very soon for yet another Plan With Me video. Bye everyone.